obscure superheroes are the best type of superheroes. Welcome back to another video all. Welcome if you're new. Uh, today is another superhero video. This will be coming off again sometime during this video, so so I won't jingle the whole time, hopefully. Because it jingles with every slight move. So today we are starting a new journey into virtually unknown super beings. So if you know who I'm talking about, congratulations. You don't need to be here, but I'd appreciate it if you did stay. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, well, this is the video for you. So our first unknown superhero. When I say unknown, these are uh, super beings that have not manifested themselves into popular stories very much. They seem to be kind of background supporting characters, but are very, very interesting. Our first obscure super being today is a superhero by the name of Dolphin. So Dolphin is a female superhero created by writer-artist J. Scott Pike. She was introduced in Showcase issue 79 in December of 1968 into DC Comics. Off comes. So Dolphin's story goes like this. She was a young girl when she fell overboard off of a cruise ship. This was depicted in Secret Origins issue 50. She was then rescued by aliens who then kidnap her and experiment on her uh, they were trying to create a new aquatic human-esque race. So this experiment changed Dolphin physically. She grew gills, webbed fingers and toes, her hair turned white, she got superhuman strength, she could also be resistant to underwater pressures, and her aging slowed significantly. Dolphin managed to escape the aliens when they abandoned the experiment. She fled forgetting who she was and we never actually find out who she was. Um, we haven't yet at least. And she becomes feral and an underwater scavenger. She was alone for a very, very long time. But during this time she enjoyed her freedom as she was growing into a young woman. Though she did grow tired of her isolated life eventually. One day a research vessel saved Dolphin from a killer shark and they brought her aboard. The occupants of the ship decided to try and educate her um, and in the meantime they named her Dolphin and the name just Duck. Though the crew's attempts at educating her did fall through, because of Dolphin's isolation she never learnt to communicate, so she was left mute. Soon enough though she did learn to recognise some words but speaking herself still eluded her. Eventually, a young female doctor who was a part of the crew came up with the idea to attempt teaching Dolphin sign language. And the young girl picked it up in no time and she was able to communicate her story to the crew and also her desire to return to the sea. Dolphin learns to speak eventually and this is thought to have happened through her spending a lot of time with other superheroes. Though she did always remain a shy, quiet woman, only speaking when she had to. During the crisis event, Dolphin fought with the team she was a part of at the time, the Forgotten Heroes, and she stayed with that team until their final dissolution. So Dolphin meets Aquaman and Aqualad during the events of Zero Hour, 
where a villain was interested in her powers and also Aquaman's powers. So the villain kidnaps Dolphin and Aquaman and proceeds to torture Aquaman, even feeding his hand to piranhas. Dolphin, who is normally a pacifist, kills the villain and then proceeds to carry Aquaman and the sidekick Aqualad all the way back to Atlantis for medical attention. Through this act she earns both the trust and affection of Aquaman and Aqualad. She became a supporting character in the Aquaman comic series after that. Aquaman himself was in a very emotional state at this point. His wife Mera had been missing for a while, um, being evil, <laughs> and he just lost his hand. But despite this, he still grew feelings for the naive dolphin. It was later revealed that an evil merman by the name of Cordax was behind Dolphin's escape from the aliens. And he had been using mind control on her to manipulate her into the royal court to kill the king, Aquaman, as his revenge. Though Dolphin did manage to break free of his mind control and fall in love with Aquaman of her own free will. And the two remained lovers until Aquaman's wife, Mera, returns from her exile in another dimension. At this same time, Tempest, formerly known as Aqualad, returns from his own adventures in magical study. Aquaman leaves Dolphin to go back to his wife, and this leaves time and space for Garth, also known as Tempest, to get to know Dolphin. Eventually, Garth won Dolphin over and they got married at an Atlantean ceremony which was also attended by the Titans. Together, Tempest and Dolphin have a son named Serdian. It could be Curdian, but I say Serdian, so deal with it. <laughs> As time went by, familial responsibilities and Tempest's commitment to the Teen Titans put too much strain on their marriage. Dolphin ended up forcing Garth to pick between her and their son and the Teen Titans. He ended up quitting the Teen Titans. When Aquaman is exiled in suspicion of the sinking of Atlantis. Uh, Dolphin and her family are suspected as accomplices in the act and were imprisoned in their own home. When the new rulers were overthrown, Dolphin and her family received a short but happy reprieve. That is until the Spectre releases his full power on Atlantis and destroys it all. Tempest is then missing and we are left in the dark about what happened to Dolphin and her son. We were given hope in the one year later storyline. A ghost by the name of Volko could feel the passing of Atlanteans and he said that he hadn't felt Dolphin or Serdian's passing. Though it is eventually revealed by Tempest who returned and spent an endless amount of time searching for his family, that Dolphin and Serdian had passed away in the destruction of Atlantis. Dolphin was then revived as a Black Lantern for the Black Lantern storyline. She ends up killing Tempest and he is revived as a Black Lantern himself. Dolphin's body was destroyed at the conclusion of that storyline. Dolphin made her return alive in the Rebirth reboot. She has a new design which makes her look more animal-like and it includes claws. She is Aquaman's new sidekick and was helping him defend Atlanteans against persecution and she's currently on the run with him. Okay, so Dolphin is in virtually no other media, so... That was quick. Her list of abilities is actually quite long, so here we go. 
Dolphin has artificially adapted to underwater life, which includes breathing underwater, superhuman strength, resilience to underwater pressures, restoration, uh, hydrokinesis, uh, astral manipulation, uh, light manipulation, and she can do a little bit of shape-shifting. And that is all we have on Dolphin. I rather like Dolphin. I think she's a wonderfully cheerful personality and her story arcs are more relationship based rather than action. So if you're more interested in those type of stories, I highly recommend her storylines. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe and also let me know your thoughts on Dolphin in the comments. I do superhero slash supervillain videos every Friday and other pop culture videos every Tuesday. So tune in next time. Bye!